Ten months on from the killing of Rhys Jones, a murder that opened the country's eyes to the menace of violent gangs, we find a generation growing up with guns. A little friend, like, in a way, like, has gotten me out of a few sticky spots. Blasted, lad. The police have had to adopt confrontational tactics, meeting force with force. It's simple. They need to walk away from guns. Now, it's one of the worst consumers of illegal narcotics anywhere. The addiction situation in Afghanistan is one of the most disastrous. We need to act now. <laughs> the nation's drug habit is tearing society apart, life by life. And on these well-heeled North Tehran streets, there is another car-based activity. It's one that turns the regime's moral values upside down. Yeah, we're gonna hit the roads for some fun. <laughs> Better not to say that in front of the camera. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go to play. Let's hit the road. In this restrictive social environment, well-off young people looking to make contact with the opposite sex go cruising in their best clothes and flashy cars. The boys call it Doctor Bozi, which means girl play, and Tehran's infamous Jordan Street is the place for action. Yeah, they're coming. Salam. We can meet you and we can talk to you and we can talk to you. These gunmen might look intimidating, but they are masked simply to protect their identity. They are ordinary men with normal jobs and families at home. One of them even works as a hairdresser. But many local men feel they have no option but to pick up arms to defend their communities because the forces of law and order seemingly cannot do so. It's a vicious circle. or 12 people on bicycles with their balaclavas up who were just circling around waiting for the next chance. And you could see people making petrol bombs with their balaclavas up, then these would be thrown. What really frightened me is the absolute intensity of trying to set fire to the shops, even though there were people living above them. My officers would rather get hurt going forward than going back. There's pops from the various cars. I think some of those are tyres. We're concerned about petrol tanks going. It's too dangerous to get the fire brigade up there. We haven't got the situation under control. Bagram prison outside Kabul. Some have called it Afghanistan's Guantanamo. But last month, 65 prisoners were released from here. They've been held without trial, some for many years. The Americans think they're Taliban insurgents and killers. The sun rises over Aleppo. But this will not be a peaceful day. Reports are coming in that a force of rebel fighters is moving in on a nearby regime stronghold known as the Poultry Farm near a place called Talazan. Haydari's unit gets some reinforcements from the local NDF militia they're training. There's no considerate driving style now. This is a military emergency. The two truckloads of fighters head to the poultry farm base as fast as they can. Ah, 
The veteran fighter Yahya is no longer making jokes. He knows what could happen next. This is no laughing matter. There are about 40 fighters now gathered in this base, including at least one other squad of Iranian military advisers. All these men know an attack is coming.